right, students, this is your Incivility Presentation Screencast-O-Matic video. This video will help you understand how to use Screencast-O-Matic for your Incivility Presentation. As you can see, I have part of your Incivility Presentation up on the screen. This is your rubric and guide for how to do your project. This is just, I'm just showing you how to use it, so don't worry about reading all of this. But as you see, you can move the video the pre the video box to where you need it to go. Okay, I'm gonna show you what you can do for PowerPoint, so you have to so you can do your presentation. When you're on PowerPoint, you know you can go down to your left corner on some PowerPoints, and you have your three boxes. You don't have to do the third box, which is like your presentation box, because with Prezi you can move, excuse me, with Screencast-O-Matic, you can move the box to your area and then you can make it bigger or smaller to fit. That way you can still see your notes on the bottom of the screen that are right here when you need to add information. So you can go back up to your presentation and you need to fit this box to your PowerPoint then you can just click on your PowerPoint and scroll through your information. This is where you will talk about your presentation and your project. If you need to reframe your box, you can hit the pause button on your Screencast-O-Matic to reframe your box. Now I'm going to go to the internet and show you where Screencast-O-Matic is and what it looks like when it comes up. This is the Screencast-O-Matic website. As you see, it's http backslash backslash screencast dash com and I've included that in your instructions and it has oops, tutorials for you and what you can do is you can hit the start recording button here or if you feel like you're going to be using this more you can go to the download and install app but otherwise you can just use it like that just running off of your internet explorer Okay, hold on just a moment and I'll show you how to do when you finish. When you are finished with your presentation and you are okay with it, this is what will come up. You will hit the record stop button in the Screencast-O-Matic screen and this is your preview. So you can re-watch it and then decide to go back if you need to or you're ready to publish it. We will be publishing it to YouTube. This is where you will want to go, so you will need a Google account to publish to YouTube. It will be okay to use your personal email accounts if you have this. When you are finished and you have published it to YouTube, then you can insert your hyperlink into your D2L presentation, and then all your peers and I myself can view it when we would like. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to call me.